Today's power tap is to clear procrastination. Just do it. Join me in these power taps and let's awaken your dreams. Sometimes we can be our worst enemy when it comes to living our visions and our dreams in life and it's called procrastination. And I myself have been a culprit of procrastination in relationships, in my career, my finances, and even living my passions. But one thing that I have learned is the moment I just do it is the moment things get easier. So here is a list that shows perhaps you may be procrastinating and need a little kick up the booty. You know there are things to do, but you are not doing it. You are making excuses for why you have not achieved your desires. You're afraid of failure, so therefore not even starting. You feel stagnant in aspects of your life. You have a doomsday story in your mind that's holding you back. All of these are signs that perhaps you are procrastinating and you just need to do it. This is how I learned the hard way. As a young girl in a small town in Australia, I had many dreams and ambitions. They were so big, I just didn't know where to start. So I distracted myself in very damaging ways by partying way too much, letting my to-do list pile up and watching way too much television. All of these actions made me feel more depressed and out of touch with my passion for life. A dark cloud descended upon me and I began spiraling down and was out of control. It took me right to the bottom where I had no choice left but to take action. So I did. I put on my Nike shoes and I ran with their slogan, just do it. So today I invite you to do the same. Join me in this power tap to clear procrastination sitting in a comfortable position. Okay, massaging underneath the collarbone, and I want you to tune into whatever it is that you're procrastinating on right now, the area of your life where you're holding back, you're not moving forward, your fear of taking action or doing something. Just tune into that area right now, and let's just be with that. Tapping the center of the chest, repeating after me if the word's not completely accurate, just change the word to match your experience. If you don't know what you feel, then just give my word a try. Even though I've been procrastinating, I love and deeply accept myself. Tapping the roof of the head, I've been procrastinating on, and what have you been procrastinating on? Say it out loud. I've been procrastinating on, say it again. Tapping between the brows. I forgive myself for procrastinating on and say what it is again. Tapping the temples, it's understandable. I've been holding myself back. And what are you afraid of? What's making you hold yourself back? What are you afraid of happening if you went forward and took that next step? Tapping the cheeks, I'm afraid of, and name what it is. Tapping underneath the nose, and that's why I'm procrastinating. I haven't been believing in myself. Tapping underneath the lips, and I don't want to move forward. I never want to move forward in this area of my life. Tapping the center of the chest. I do want to move forward on this area in my life. Take a big, deep breath, big sigh. <sighs> Good. Tapping the front of the ribs. I forgive myself for all of this confusion. Tapping the side of the ribs, part of me wants to move forward. And part of me doesn't want to move forward. Part of me wants to stay here forever. Okay, so turn into the part of you that just doesn't want to do it, is really resistant to it, dreads it, is scared of it. Turn into all of that resistance to whatever it is that you really want to achieve or create and that step involved in order to get there. I've been resisting, what have you been resisting doing? Tapping the side of the thumb. I've been resisting, and name what it is. Tapping the next finger. I've been holding back from, and name what it is. Because I'm afraid of, and name what you're afraid of happening. If you fail, if it doesn't work, what are you afraid of happening? I'm afraid of. Tapping the next finger, 
and so I haven't been moving forward. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger and I don't have to give it a try. I never have to do this. Tapping the little finger, I never have to move forward on this area in my life. Okay, so now that you've given yourself permission to never have to do it, let's just feel what that would feel like, say 10 years from now, if you still hadn't done that one thing, if you still hadn't moved forward, if you still hadn't made that phone call, if you still hadn't made that connection, still hadn't done that action. Tune into what that would be like 10 years from now if you still hadn't done it. How would you feel 10 years from now if you still had procrastinated on it and still not done it? Tapping the roof of the head. It would feel really, and name your top emotion that you would feel if you hadn't done it. Perhaps you would feel depressed. Perhaps you would feel unclear, uncertain, shameful. What would you feel? I would feel... Tapping between the brows if I don't do it. Tapping the temples. Now tune into 20 years from now. Wow, 20 years still not doing that action item, still not moving forward, still not taking that step. 20 years from now, what's happening in your life? Tapping the cheeks 20 years from now. Who are you and how does that look? How does that feel in your body? Still not happening, still making excuses. What happens to your life force 20 years from now, still not doing it? Tapping underneath the nose 40 years from now. Oh my God, <laughs> a lot of time has passed. How has that affected your life force? What's happened? I am, what happens 40 years from now if it, you still don't do it? Tapping underneath the lips and that feels really, what does that feel like? It feels really disempowering. I feel not good enough. I feel hopeless. I'm ashamed. I'm nervous. Tapping the center of the chest. Okay, let's just go all the way to your dying day now. Imagine on your deathbed, still not done it. Still haven't given it a shot. Still didn't put yourself out there. Still didn't say what you needed. Still didn't do the action that you needed to do. Tapping the front of the ribs. Your dying day, still holding on to it, still making excuses, still protecting yourself from it. How does that feel on your dying day? I want you to really feel that right now so you can understand what it's like to hold yourself back. Because until you make a choice to change, you will have it till your dying day. So let's just feel that right now. Take a big, deep breath, release a big sigh. <sighs> Tapping the side of the wrist. Part of me doesn't want to hold on to this until my dying day. Part of me doesn't want to procrastinate forever. Part of me wants to be able to move forward. Part of me wishes I could take the next step. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger. I might be better if I do it. Tapping the little finger. I might have more energy if I just do it. Tapping the side of the hand, even though I'm really scared about it. And I can hold on to this fear forever if I want to. Tapping the roof of the head but part of me wants to get past this fear. Tapping between the brows, it's possible if I just do it, the fear will disappear. It's possible if I just do it, I might achieve something. I forgive myself for being afraid of moving forward. I forgive myself for not knowing how to move forward. So just tune into all of that hesitation right now. I want you to feel all of that hesitation, all of that holding back. Tapping underneath the nose, all of that fear that's there. 
And I just want you to send yourself a big wave of compassion right now, tapping underneath the lips. Send yourself some infinite mercy, some compassion for all of the fear. It's totally understandable that you're afraid about taking this step or that you're unsure on how to fully do it yet. Anything new is going to create that uncertainty and that fear. So just send yourself some love right now. Really feel the uncertainty because that's how we heal it. We feel it fully and then it heals out of our nervous system. Tap in the center of the chest. I forgive myself for being stuck here. Tapping the front of the ribs. I forgive myself for lacking motivation. I just want to feel motivated. I just want to feel excited. So tune into all that heaviness, that lack of motivation, that doom and gloom, that fear, that sluggishness, that it's not worth trying energy. Feel into that right now because it's very slow moving, isn't it? Tune into it and let's just feel it right now. Take a big deep breath into it and release a big sigh. <sighs> Tapping the side of the wrist. I forgive myself for moving so slowly on this. It's possible I can move a little faster now. Tapping the next finger. It's possible I'm in a safe place to take the next step. Tapping the next finger. That feels like a good one to feel safe, right? It's possible I'm in a safe place to take the next step. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger. Now tune into what that next step is for you in moving forward. The one that you've been holding yourself back from. The one you've been ignoring. The one you've been denying. The one you've been convincing yourself away from. Tune into that piece that you've been ignoring that action item, that next step, tapping the little finger. It's possible I'm in a safe place to and name what that next step is. Tapping the side of the hand. It's possible I'm in a safe place to and name what it is. Tapping the roof of the head and I forgive myself for holding back for so long. Say that one again. I forgive myself for holding back for so long. I'm ready to move forward now, even if it's just a little step. Tapping between the brows. It's possible I'll feel better if I do. It's possible it will feel better than this stagnated place. Tapping the cheeks. I'm ready to maybe give it a try. I can always come back to this stagnation if it doesn't work out. Tapping underneath the lips. I can always come back to this stuck feeling if it doesn't work out. Tapping the center of the chest. It's possible if I take action, I'll no longer be stuck. That feels about right, doesn't it? <laughs> Tapping the front of the ribs. It's possible if I take action, I'll no longer feel stuck. I'm really wanting to not feel stuck. Tapping the side of the ribs. It's possible if I take action, I'll feel better. Tapping the side of the wrist. It's possible if I take action, I'll have more life force. Tapping the side of the thumb. It's possible if I take more action, what could happen for you? Tapping the next finger. It's possible if I take more action, I can, and say what it is, achieve more, create more, live more, feel better, feel better connected. What would it be for you if you took action in that area of your life? I could, and name what it is. Tapping the next finger. That would feel really, and name what that would feel like if you took action and you felt that. That would feel really good, wouldn't it? What would you feel as a result of that? Tapping the next finger. If you were taking action and then creating what you wanted to create, what would that feel like? Tapping the side of the hand. I can do this. 
Tapping the roof of their head. I believe in myself. I'm worthy of doing this. Tapping between the brows. I'm ready to change my life. I'm ready to upgrade to new possibilities. I'm ready to express myself more. I'm ready to live my dreams. And I'm done with waiting. Tapping the center of the chest. I don't have to wait anymore. Tapping the front of the ribs. I can do this. Tapping the side of the ribs. I believe in myself. Tapping the side of the wrist. It's possible I've got what it takes. Tapping the side of the thumb. I'm ready to trust myself now. I trust myself. Tapping the next finger and I'm ready to take the next step. Even if I've never done it before. It's possible I can do it. Tapping the little finger and I'm ready to learn how. I'm ready to take a leap of faith. Tapping the top of the head. I'm ready to learn along the way. I'm ready to grow. It's possible I can grow now. I'm ready to experiment. I'm ready to try new things. I'm ready to play through the process. I'm ready to make it fun. So tune into that next step right now and imagine you making it all about fun. Imagine if it could be about fun because before you were putting a lot of dread on it. Now we're going to put a lot of fun on it because it's all a perception, right? And you can choose fun through this step. So tune into what that would look like right now if you were making it about fun and play. Tapping the front of the ribs. What would you be doing and how would you be doing it? I would be, and name what that is, and how would that be done? It would be done by, and how would that feel when you're making it about play and fun? It would feel really, top three emotions. It would feel really, I can do this. Tapping the side of the wrist. I'm ready to do this. And I'm ready to have fun in the process. Big deep breath, big sigh. Ah, awesome, great. I want you to tap all over your body right now. And I want you to just say out loud what you're creating and what you're doing and how fun it's gonna be. I'm creating and say what it is. And it's gonna be really, and name your most powerful fun emotions. Keep saying it, what, all of that fun that you can have and how inspiring it's going to be and what it's going to feel like and how ready you are for it. Just keep saying that out loud now, just for another 30 seconds. I really want you to go into all of the magic that you get to create through this experience, through taking action in your life, through enjoying the action. Keep going. What else is it going to feel like? What else are you going to do? Beautiful. Okay. Big deep breath, big sigh. <sighs> Wonderful. Just closing your eyes for a moment and just feeling into the open space that's available for you right now. That space of the void where anything is possible. And you get to plant the seed into that void right now. You get to plant the seed into what you're creating for your life in this area. So imagine yourself right now as you close your eyes that you're taking a seed in your hand and you're digging up the soil and you're placing that seed into the soil. And what is that seed for you? What is that next step? Imagine that next step as the seed. And then place soil over that seed once more and then place water on top of that soil. And imagining that seed, that gift that's going to grow into life, being nourished by the soil, by the nutrients. And see that seed now burst 
into a seedling to feel all of it coming alive right now underneath the surface underneath in the deep subconscious of the space within yourself and now see it climb like a vine out of the earth and into the sunlight and what does that look like for you when that seed births into the sunlight and just take a moment to be with that feel the suppleness feel the vitality feel the clarity feel the sincerity feel the purpose of knowing that it is being drawn towards the light and it's growing stronger in every moment and take a deep breath into that and then release a big sigh Thank you so much for joining me in this power tap to clear out procrastination and to take action. I believe in you and I'm so happy that you believe in yourself and know that anything that you desire is possible. Would love to hear how this tap went for you. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Let us know in the comments below. What did you discover? What are you creating in your life? I always love to hear from you. And if you want to check out more power taps, head on over to YouTube and you can subscribe or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Just shake it off, you know. It's like that old procrastination that just takes over you is very slow moving. So if you're experiencing procrastination and you haven't done the tap, or you did do the tap and you're still not <laughs> moving forward, then you just have to shake. Like shake it out of you. Like you're going to grab yourself and you're going to really go, no! And then you're probably going to have more energy and then you're going to be like, okay, where was I? Who was I? What was I doing before? Snap out of it. Stop procrastinating and let's do it. Yeah. <laughs>